Hey guys, welcome back to Dizzle in Motion. I apologize for the audio, but my microphone batteries died. So what the hell are you supposed to do, right? I actually filmed this entire thing, my ugly face talking about the truck, and uh, yeah, it didn't work. So I'm gonna take my face out of this and just do a walk around the truck and I'll voice it over so you don't have to hear all the wind shit going on. Thanks for watching. So here we got, if you have a 2015 to 2022 Chevy Colorado ZR2, this is exactly what your truck will look like. They changed the body in 2023, made some improvements on the motor and the interior. Uh, it's a nice upgrade, but not worth the money overall. So this is the ZR2 top of the line. You can see in the front here, we have tow hooks and a skid plate, the color not up to negotiation or discussion this is the best color that they made <laughs> you can see 21 inch tires came stock and then i have a step rail a lot of people elect for the rock rail but with a four-door crew cab and young children that's pretty much the only way they're going to get in for me so we went with that and then it has all the top suspension options from the factory you can see the adjustable dampening on those shocks Wheel travels about 11 inches on these bad boys. And then going around the tail end here, we have a full size spare, pretty much brand new tires sitting in 17 inch wheels. Obviously there's gonna be step rails on both sides. And moreover, this truck is a $52,000 sticker, but it's two years old and I was able to pick it up for just 36,000. Continuing on with the theme of having every option checked, we have the hard top here, it's cool. It's the segmented one where you can flip it one layer at a time or you can take the whole thing out. Bed liner is covered with the hooks, everything, all the options checked, all the boxes ready to go. And then a nice solid tailgate there that locks. All right, let's take a look inside, going in the rear door first. Granola wrappers, yep, that's what happens when you have seven year olds. Got leather interior seats all around, nice little cup holders in the middle, plenty of leg room got kick panels that i installed because again i have seven and nine year old they like to destroy everything in the center it's kind of nice because you have not only a regular 12 volt plug-in but also the addition of a 110 plug so you can pretty much run whatever you'd run at your house in the back of this truck if you want to go glamping or you just gotta get something done with power to the front front seats are also leather of course they're power Got our center console here. The dash itself, this is where the 2023 and 2024 models were greatly improved. They're much nicer. It's not even close. But this one definitely gets it done. It's got all the car plays, navigation, that good stuff. And then down here in the center is where we have a ton of different controls. I'm going to do a whole dedicated video for off-road towing and that kind of good stuff. It's got wireless charging pad here in the middle. Little pink friend there that my daughter left for us. And then we'll check out the other side here. It's got a little mini cup holder. And then I keep tourniquets in all doors because that's the kind of guy I am. And then let's go check out the other side. All right, let's finish up here on the driver's side. Door is obviously the same, same cup holder. I keep glass breakers and mag reloads and all kinds of knickknacks in there. Leather once again with the full power. Now, I think I mentioned before there's heated seats, but this heated seats are in zones. There's a top and a bottom zone for heat, so that's pretty nice. As well as the steering wheel have its own heat. And then again, I'll do a dedicated video on 4x4. It has high, low, and auto, but also this truck has front and rear locking differentials, which is pretty nice. The visors actually cover the whole left window, and then we got ZR2 badging going on. So all in all, this interior, very comfortable. We've been driving with it for a couple weeks now and I couldn't be more satisfied. All right, so that's my initial review of the truck. Uh, again, apologize for the audio. I'll be on top of it for the next one when we go more in depth in the different systems and cool stuff going along with it but needless to say pretty damn satisfied with it and uh filming in 105
105, 110 degree Vegas is not the easiest. So I hope you guys are enjoying the videos. Go ahead and get a like and a sub to the video if you're into it. If not, uh, sub anyways, because you a masochist or you like looking at ugly redheaded stuff. Anyways, catch you on the next one.